Hey, what's up Reefers? Today we're doing things slightly differently. I am not in front of the fish tank and I just finished a design project. So figure out, do a quick video and we'll play that 10 question aquarium tuber tag challenge brought to the English speaking part of YouTube by Psychedelic Babe. Thank you so much, Gillies Reef and Paul Blaney for tagging me. I think this is gonna be awesome. Now you may see my eyes glance this way once in a while because I have my little note, my cheat sheet up uh, of what the question is. So first question, fish or reef system uh, for me I will pick reef simply because with a reef tank I can keep adding corals versus if it's a fish only tank there's um, only a certain amount of fish I can add to this tank before it's like full and that's it I cannot do anything else to it so for me somebody who likes to tweak things reef would be perfect I can keep cramming the corals in and it's bad for my wallet but you know number two soft or hard coral Personally, I like soft coral because I like to see that movement, that motion, and they have vibrant color as well. Now, my opinion may change down the road as I get more into SPS with the sticks, but for now, soft coral. Number three, my favorite coral, Xenia. <laughs> uh, Xenia is awesome because number one, they look pretty, right? Uh, they got interesting shape, and then they pulse. That's a really interesting interaction. And then also they are hardy, they spread fast if the condition is right. Now the downside is of course that they do spread fast. So a lot of people see them as new, uh, like a pest. But for me who cannot grow Xenia, I would love to have maybe half a tank full of Xenia. I think it'd be awesome as they all pulse. So Xenia is my favorite coral. Question number four, what is my favorite fish? I'll pick lionfish. When I think of the ocean, lionfish is one of the first fish that comes to mind. I can imagine like a really majestic looking lionfish just cruising along the bottom of the reef, you know, cruising along the sand or like the crushed, uh, crushed corals and just hunting. And they just look so majestic and they're so, when they're like fully grown, they're really full bodied and I just love that look. Uh, it is still one of my dreams to have a full adult sized lionfish in a reef tank. Uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Question number five, my least favorite coral. I have a little hard time picking one uh, because they're, they're all great. But if I really have to pick, I would say the meat coral. Those are the little round shape thingy that goes for sometimes thousands of dollars. Uh, I, <laughs> I cannot pronounce the scientific name, so I won't even try. But they're basically meat coral, they're like a lump like this. The reason they don't do it for me is simply because like the form factor is kind of like this. So you take up this, this much room and you cannot really add things on top of it so it just takes up that space. And um, maybe yeah, my opinion would change down the road when I see some awesome, awesome looking one. But for me right now, it just uh, so that's probably my least favorite coral at the moment. Number six, my least favorite fish. Man, these questions are harsh. Uh, you're gonna think I'm shallow. My least favorite fish is probably the pajama cardinal. I just think they're ugly. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna see all the dislike coming in now. Uh, yeah, I feel like um, beauty is in the eyes of beholder. A lot of people think they're beautiful, so uh, that's why you know people buy them. But for me, I'm just not not a huge fan of the coloration and just like it's kind of weird how the the checkered shape convert into stripe. Uh, let's move on. I'm just <laughs> digging myself a hole. Uh, number seven, homemade or commercial food. Commercial food for me, simply because I am not a really handy person, I cannot even cook for myself, let alone my fish. Uh, so for commercial food, I use Prime Reef Flake, LLS, and Rod's Food, uh, also PE Mices, so it's a, it's a combo of those. So for me, I like prepared commercial food. Number eight, what is my favorite light? Currently, I'm using LED. My new tank build is gonna be using LED as well, but I think my all-time favorite light would be the Metal Halite and T5 combo. Metal Halite is always kind of like my holy grail of light. I have never had a tank running Metal Halite simply due to the heat it put out, due to the fact that it draws a lot of electricity, and due to the fact that you have to change its bulb every year before the spectrum shift. So with all these, Metal Halite is just not too feasible for me. But I think like Metal Halite put out gorgeous, gorgeous looking shimmer. It obviously put out a lot of nice par, for a lot, especially for SPS. Um, it is a point of light source, but then because the light source is so big and you can, you can use a reflector, uh, shadowing is not that big of an issue. Now, of course, you need T5 to supplement the atinic to make the coral 
pop, <laughs> quote unquote. So I think like for me, Meta Halite and T5 is the ultimate combo. And one day I hope to have this over one of my tank. Question number nine, my dream tank. What is my dream tank? My pie in the sky would be a saltwater pond with walkthrough tunnel and I'll keep some like black teeth reef sharks and some like stingrays and eagle rays in there. That'd be awesome. And of course, I'll need a couple of really nice clusters of coral reef where they may be really close to the tunnel so I can kind of get a closer look. So that is kind of my dream tank. Now, bringing it back down a little bit from the pie in the sky to like a pie in a really nice restaurant. Uh, would be a, maybe a 500 gallon tank would be nice because I like to work with a tank that has depth you know this way I can build out the depth so uh, that is kind of like my more realistic dream tank all right question number 10 the last question number 10 is actually for me to tag three other channels that I enjoy and I think um, may give some really interesting answers to to these 10 questions so this time around I would like to tag some local reefers to DC Virginia Maryland area so first up I would like to tag Scott M Roscoe's Reef. Great channel. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to get a link down here or somewhere, um, but definitely in the video description below for you guys to go check it out and make your, make your own judgment. I enjoy his videos. Along the same vein, I would like to tag DC Reefer. Um, also a great channel. Not too many subscribers for some really odd reason <laughs> because I feel like he put up really great uh, information as well and always entertaining. So DC Reefers. The last person I would like to tag is kind of a pie in the sky as well because this guy is always busy. I would like to tag Ryan from BLS TV and I'm really interested in hearing his answer because he's a professional. He's always dealing with stuff like this so he sees a lot. I want to see how his answer differs from a regular reefer like me. So Ryan from BLS TV, I know you're busy but if you have time and would like to do a quick video on these 10 questions, I think it would be fantastic. So to sum it up, I would like to ta tag Scott M, DC Reefer, and Ryan from BLS TV to kind of pass along this 10 questions aquarium tuber tag challenge that was started by Psychedelic Babe, at least for the English portion. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna go out and enjoy the rest of the weekend and I hope you guys do the same. I will talk to you guys later.